Today, I'm going to share with you about this simple simulated electro pneumatic circuit. Today is purely about the introduction about the operation of the electro pneumatic circuit and on how to use the multimeter voltage and current function to measure the voltage and current and at the same time use the pressure sensor to measure the pressure in the pneumatic cylinder. <clears throat> okay, for the operation wise, if we press the in button, what happens is this cylinder handle will go, in, go into the cylinder. Okay, when I press the stop button, it will stop the movement. If I press the out button, what happens is the cylinder handle will go out from the cylinder. Okay, okay, when I press the in button, what happens is the push button too will be triggered to close, hence trigger from normally open to close. And the current can flow from X1, go through fuse 1, push button 1, then push button 2, then relay 2, dot 2, then energize relay 1 coil, and then go back to X2 common, thus form a complete circuit. Okay. While the current go through this path and then energize the R1 coil relay, it will energize relay 1.1 normally open switch to close. Hence, the current can continuously flow through this path and continuously energize R1 relay coil. While the R1 relay coil is energized, the relay 1.2 Will be triggered from normally close to open so the current cannot flow through this path of course when relay one coil is energized the relay one dot three will be triggered from normally open to close hence the current also can flow through this path through the fuse to our relay one dot three and then energize the solenoid a coil while the solenoid a coin is energized, what happens is this portion will virtually move to this side. We just use our imagination to imagine. Okay, what happens is the pneumatic will flow through this line. How I know is this line because there's a P symbol here. The P symbol stands for pneumatic pressure. So the pneumatic pressure will flow through this line, then go through this line then press the cylinder all the way in and the intern, the, as the balance pressure here will go through this spot and then vent through this line. Okay, so let's try it out. First, I will press the in. Sorry, I press the stop because this is already in. So I need to press the out. Okay, it will move out. Okay, I need to press the stop. Otherwise, it cannot move in. You see, if I press in, cannot. So yeah, I need to press the stop. Okay. I press the in again. The handle will go into the cylinder. Then I have to press the stop again. All right. Okay. Okay. Now I press the in button. The push button two will close. You can observe from here. Okay. The push button two will close. See, I press one more time. The push button will close. Okay. So current flow through this line, energize, then we trigger this relay 1.1 to close. At the same time, we trigger relay 1.2 from normally close to open. And then at the same time, we trigger relay 1.3 from normally open to close. <coughs> so the current can flow through this path, also can flow through this path. The current will flow through to here, it will branch out into two paths. Okay. When this solenoid valve A is energized, what happens? This portion will be energized. We can virtually imagine that this square will move to the center. So the pressure, pneumatic pressure, which represented by the red line, will flow through here and then push the cylinder handle in. And then the balance pressure here will be pushed out or vent out. Okay? So when I press the stop button, this push button one will be triggered for normally close to open. Hence, open cause a circuit to open and then no current can flow through here. And the circuit will be normalized. So try to observe here. 
Okay, now I press the push button. You see? Okay, it normalized. Okay, now I press the <coughs> out button. Okay, what happened? The push button 3 will be triggered from normally open to close. Hence, the current can flow through this path. And so on. Okay, observe the push button 3. Okay, I press out button. The push button 3 will be triggered to close. You see? You see? Okay. So current can flow through this path, okay, this path, push button 3, okay, energize R2 coil relay, hence trigger the R relay 2.1 from normally open to close, and the current can continuously flow through this path to continuously energize R2 relay coil. And at the same time, it will cause the relay 2.2 from, norm, from normally close to open, and at the same time, we trigger relay 2.3 from normally open to close. And the current also can flow through this line to energize solenoid B coil. When the solenoid B coil is energized, we can use our imagination to virtually imagine this square will be moved to the center. So this pneumatic pressure will go through here to this line and then push cylinder handle all the way out. And the balance pressure here will be then out. All right. Okay. Will be then out to atmosphere. Okay. So that's it. This is the introduction. Uh, before I end that, I also need to show how to use the voltage function, the multimeter voltage function to measure voltage. Okay. The black probe is always put at the common side or the ground point. Okay. The red probe is for measurement okay when we put here we can measure the voltage when you put here we also can measure because the current can flow through this line okay so when i put here i also can measure i put here also can measure but when i put here i cannot measure why because the current flow through here and then open circuit here open circuit here so there's no current can flow through the multimeter hence multimeter register zero, zero voltage okay when i put here i can measure the voltage 120 watt why because the current can flow through this line okay branch out into two paths one path to the load side which is r2 coil and back to the common side the other path will go through the multimeter then to the black probe of the multimeter to the common side then back to the circuit and then go back to the multimeter Okay, it forms a closed circuit. In order for current to flow, it must flow in a closed loop circuit, cannot be the open loop circuit. Okay, as for the current, okay, I can use a tom meter to measure the current. Okay, I can measure there's a current here, okay, 300 milliampere. Although this uh, unit is wrong, actually, it's an ampere, right? Okay. But when I put here, I measure 0 ampere. When I put here, I can... Sorry, I can measure. Because this current can flow through this path to here, 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 and go back. Form a closed loop. Okay? So that's it for today's introduction. Thanks.